Hello everybody, welcome back to more Nuclear Throne. We are jumping in this time as Chican, 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 and we got the Bee Skin on. We're going to select this golden weapon. I realize the Katana is kind of the classic start, but I'm not much of a melee guy anyways, and I'm not even sure what this weapon is. Um, I think it looks like just the regular assault rifle, but it's not, right? What What is this? Oh shit, I, I, wanted, to, I wanted to drop this. One sec, one sec, one sec. Let's find another weapon. I am really not sure what this is. Because it just the icon just doesn't look right. <laughs> I want to figure it out. But yes, back to some more nuclear throne. El Clasico. The loveliest of games. Absolutely, truly brilliant. <laughs> and this mod being the best. Update 28, for those of you wondering, which is the update that I'm playing right now, will be out sometime fairly soon. I can't give an exact date. You know, it's just a gold machine gun. Uh, I can't give an exact date to you guys, but this is the last official beta test patch, so it should be coming pretty soon. It seems like most of the bugs and glitches and patches and stuff have been ironed out, so it's looking good. It's looking good, um, and hopefully you guys will be able to get your hands on this pretty soon, because, um, yeah, it, the developer has done a very, very, very good job with adding new content. And, yeah, I don't know how much more is going to be worked on this game, but I really hope it goes on for a little while, because I have been... Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying the crazy good work that has been going into this update over the past few months. It is something quite special, really. Like I've said before, this is genuinely one of the best mods ever made for any game. <laughs> Probably not quite, quite of that echelons, but that I've played, it definitely is. It's, um, it really is some top tier stuff. And I am looking forward to playing it for the foreseeable future. I mean, I played Nuclear Throne on my channel far longer than I thought I would, even just, like, no modded. And then playing, like, um, Territorial Expansion and stuff, I played that a lot longer than I thought. And then this came along, and it's kind of revitalized everything I love about this game to the point where I could probably do another 100 episodes on this game and still not be bored. So I'm, um, I'm hoping to do so. And, I mean, honestly, that doesn't even require the developer to upgrade the update the mod even more than it, it has been, but more updates would never, ever go amiss. Getting hit like an idiot. Level 4, baby. Okay. I think Insomnia is pretty good here. I, I always love Insomnia just because it neutralizes. Like, it makes the early part of the stage easier. But for me, the big part is just neutralizing the police, which is one of the aspects of the game that always really annoys me. So having them be a much less of a nuisance is, is like, top tier for me. Flame Revolver. Eh, yeah, I'll take a Flame Revolver. Why not? Probably not that much better than my golden machine gun, but it might not even be any better, but still. I'm trying to think of what sort of build do I want to go for today. I do try to, like, some episodes aim for a build. Some, some of them I'm a little more aimless, and I just kind of do whatever floats my boat. But this time I'm kind of like, I don't know, maybe I'll uh, go full on crossbow. Maybe we could go with, like, some sort of a fire build. I don't really know if there's anything that kind of lends itself to that. But, uh, do you know what? Crossbow plus Flame Splinter. That's kind of the best of both worlds, really, isn't it? The game the game heard my words, and it was like, hey. Hey, I hear you. You're saying you want a bit of this and a bit of that to culminate in something quite incredible. I'm not going to go to the special floor here because I just do not feel confident in it. Unless I have to, which... Oh, no, the other portal's just all the way over here. I just don't feel too confident in it right now. I'm going to stick with what I know. I don't know why it spawned all the way over here. Um... I think I'll take it open mind, actually. I very, I very rarely take it open mind. It can give you more, um... More rads and stuff, so it's kind of pretty incredible. Also, this seems to have piercing, which is weird. Normally, splinter guns don't pierce much, really. Uh, especially on bigger enemies. Dude, don't try and steal my ammo. Gamma guns will get you. Well, I suppose the fire one, it kind of makes sense, right? 
pretty good. Pretty good. Does seem to bend the ramo quite, quite quickly though. But this flame revolver, I was wrong. This thing, this thing is pretty good. It's quite the upgrade over our golden machine gun, I'll be honest. Got a lot of ammo efficiency going for it, to be honest, too. And yeah, we're going to get the cho choice here for even more weaponry. The penetrator. Hmm. Penetrator. I don't know what the penetrator does. Um, Auto explosive crossbow. I feel like I have to take that. I realize it's two guns of the same ammo type now, which isn't ever really a great thing to go for. Mi no, mini incinerator, the mincinerator, minerator, however you want to say it. Mini incinerator is pretty, pretty top tier. Dude, that, that turret just absolutely blapped itself there. Remember, we can't get contact damage really here. left. So it's a fella lurking up about. This might be one of the easiest versions of this war I've ever seen. <laughs> like there wasn't any of the bigger enemies or explosive enemies at all. Honestly, take the heavy grenade launcher just for this fight. gonna do us good there you go and then just drop it again after so it's just a bit risky to use anywhere else but again specifically a boss it's pretty good um i think tough shell's pretty good here we've got kind of a weird amalgamation of our current um of our current setup of mutations i'll be honest but it's kind of working I, I am interested to see how this thing would work with herming and all the piercing that it's got seems like it could be quite good I'm really liking the mini incinerator, I have to say. This is a fun one. Went for the fire build. Don't really have any mutations that can support it. The pot shot. Interesting. It fires like three different types of bullets at once. Not really what I want right now, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, just look at that. You just like set everything ablaze and then kind of leave it. Frost shotgun. That is the opposite of what we're looking for right now. Ooh, that, that police got a really good shot down this path then. Yeah, look at that. They come through the hole and they're all just asleep. <laughs> I just love it. Oh, God. I actually took quite a bit of damage that I wasn't expecting. There. Close that up. We got a health kit thingy gun here. Good, good. Gets us going a bit. Ooh, that blade almost hit me. Oh shit, I, for I forgot. I completely forgot about this asshole. Uh, we, we don't really have the right weaponry for him. Yeah, I'm, I'm not particularly ready for this guy, I'll be honest. Yeah, he's, he's going to kill me. This is unfortunate because this is actually a pretty good run. But I just don't have the run to deal with this guy. And he just keeps moving. Yeah, dude, I'm so dead. So dead. Okay, I, I think I somehow got away with that. I, I'm honestly not really sure how. Okay, this thing has fallen off heavily. Uh, I'm not really sure how I got away with that. But there was a lot of health lying about and I managed to escape. We need some new guns, really. Um, ooh, this is, this is pretty decent. Uh, I think we'll take that. The extra fire rate is always nice. Gatling bazooka, toxic cannon. Yeah, the fire rate is very lovely. Yeah, unfortunately that has just like completely fallen off. Let's just take the car throw for now. Oh, 
got a bit of risk associated with it, but it is a lot of fun. <laughs> Car thrower, you are beautiful. Just get in there with the cars. <laughs> Police instantly gets a car thrown at his head. Big bad bat. I don't know how good this is going to be against him, I'll be honest. I love that attack. It's kind of hard to dodge, but... No, 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 I wasn't ready. Oh, you bastard. Um... You're in slow motion? Do we have slow motion? Oh shit. <laughs> I thought he just threw stuff. Okay. Slow motion's pretty useful here. Good, good. Yeah, we... I'm not really ready for Throne, I'll be honest. Our weaponry isn't really what I'd want to be using on Throne. Like, it's not bad, but the mini incinerator is kind of weak, and the car thrower's ammo is pretty limited. What's left? Like a secret pass? Oh, there is, yeah. Okay, we got another two weapons here, though. One of these could be good. The Swarm Minigun, the Assault Flugger. What the hell's a Flugger? Ooh. That's cool. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll grab this. I like the idea behind this. Ooh, they're both using the same ammo, though. I, I realize we're, we're getting rid of all of our uh, fire abilities here, but still. Oh, no, what was that? Oh, there was something fire-related up there. Big sad. I missed out. I missed out and now I cry. None, thank you. Ooh, hello. The Morph Hammer, the Laser Crash, and the Gatling Flugger. I think a Gatling Flugger is better than a Salt Flugger. The Flamer is pretty good. What the hell's the Laser Crash? Okay, fair enough. The Swarm Minigun is definitely sticking around. Okay, let's give this a go. This is this is much better weaponry. Like, isn't flame related, sadly, but I think this is much more in line with what we kind of need to be using here. I love that Swarm. Look at that, it's so cool. Do your thing, Throne, do your thing. Oh, this is, this is true power, this. I died straight away. I'm I'm dead. Yeah, well that was uh I I don't really know what happened there. Like a lot kind of came at me very quickly. That was unfortunate because <laughs> I was like just just got there. The game was like, "Hey, wouldn't it be funny if lol?" No. Yeah, I forgot this guy had um, slow motion instead of weapon throwing now. But to be honest, weapon throwing is literally useless. Okay, good. No level up, sadly, but we'll get it pretty early in the next stage. And we get that straight away as well, which means an extra level up this stage as well, most likely. Kraken pistol this early? Hell yeah. Very good. Good. We didn't get the double level up. Big sad. It takes scary face though. Look at that. It kills things so quickly. You get close enough to him and it just insta kills him. There you go. It even insta kills the boss pretty much. And the wrench. 
I think I'm okay for the wrench, thank you. Um, let's take Power Craving. Every weapon has one random weapon mod on it, increasing mod max by one, increasing effectiveness of weapon mods, more weapon mods and crown balls. Okay, that's actually a really good pickup then. Need to make sure we go to crown vault with this. I need to be swapping weapons fairly regularly. We don't have to swap to every new one we pick up, but just to get weapon mods, especially when they're more effective, it's really good. I will take that because it's got a uh, electric weapon mod on that, I think. Yeah, it does. Nice. Electricity is pretty awesome. Oh, one last enemy. Why does it do this sometimes? How did something get past me? I cleared this entire area. Or at least I thought I did. Didn't even give me any rads either. Could have leveled me up at least. Yeah, this, this thing's really good with the electricity on it. A nice little power boost. Especially with um, Scary Face as an addition on top of that. And we'll take the Frost Machine Gun here. That's got the Sheepify morphing on it. Turn you into a sheep. Um, yeah, preloading's always nice. I actually think Puppy Cheek's one of my favourite modifiers. It's really good on fast firing weapons as well. So it just means if you stop firing for just a short amount of time, you get an extra like burst of shots when you next start firing. I think that's really cool. Nice. We enter the crown vault. Oh, ha 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 ha. I love that. <laughs> so now we get weapon drop or item drop. I mean, weapon drop seems like the best way to go for us right now. Good air. Not going to be keeping that for very long, but still. And I just love the fact that we're currently turning everything into sheep too, which is always funny. I see you, assassin. I know that you're trying. This is such a fun little uh, setup we've got going on right now, to be honest. Grenade shotgun, we'll grab that. That's got extra rads on it, I think, is what this does. How did that miss? Oh, that's so good. We, like, pop a few of those. Get a double reload going. Wow, that killed fast. Energy screwdriver. Comes with explosive on it. I'm, uh, I'm okay, thanks. An energy screwdriver with explosive sounds like a good way to kill myself. To be fair, I don't actually know if the explosives do, do, even do damage to us, but I'm not willing to find out right now, I'll be honest. Okay, this with th these two are a very good combo. Because now we can preload our shot on our other gun while we're firing this gun. It's only at 20% speed, but... It just, it basically just gives us an extra bit of power when we swap weapons. And an extra reason to have some more efficiency of when and how we swap weapons too. I like it, I think it's a really good little addition and the two as, as new modifiers just work incredibly well and fit into the game very, very elegantly. Oh God. Excuse me. Okay. <coughs> good to go. I think Rage is another fantastic one. Ooh, what did I get hit by then? Oh, there was health there as well that I missed. Got him. Having weapon drop on this uh, assault rifle is also nice for just trying out new things. Oh, Th this assault rifle, the frost one, for its level is like incredible. 
especially with morph on it too. Hearing everything bleat like a little lamb as it dies is uh, somewhat satisfying, and that made me sound like a bit of a psychopath, but oh well. The IGPD is looking for you. Oh no. And through we go. We just want this to add modifiers. I'm not even sure what this one does. A shotgun? Spawn three pellets. Okay. I wonder if you can get the same modifier twice. This one is homing and lightning. I guess we'll take homing. That sounds pretty good. You can get up to three modifiers, I think. Oh, there was four in this crown bar. I should have looked at what the other ones were. I wasn't expecting that. It did say it spawned more, though, so makes sense. Pretty good. Ooh, hello, fella. I don't even know where he is. I I've lost him completely. That was very confusing, and I am very, very low on ammo and health. Kraken Disperse Gun. I, I know that it's cursed, but i got to try that out. It also comes with reload speed on it. Nice. Uh, Gamma Guts, yeah. Kraken Disperse Gun. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. Now, that thing's pretty insane, but obviously, as you can tell, it's already out of ammo. Ghost Dagger. I always forget that this place comes to the cheese lands if you pick up a cursed weapon. I can't believe how how much this thing's carrying. Frost this frost assault rifle. I've got to pick this up more often. Just like it just neuters enemies and then does great damage. And turns them into sheep. Is that good? Maybe in like a wide open area it'll be better. Off wall. Comes with weapon drop. This is a really just bad stage for this fight. There's just like no open area at all. I realise he's creating some, but still it's an absolute pain. Oh, we just got the Jarrah Buster. I love this weapon so much. Although, can we afford to even carry it, is the question. I think so. It's too good to not. It's so fun. And we got it with um, whatever this is too. Hits occasionally spawn three splinters. Yeah, there you go. Pretty good. Gamma guts that guy to save some ammo. Yeah, ammo is a bit fucked. Oh, we're dead. Okay. With Gamma Guts, this is kind of working. Somehow. Interesting. With Gamma Guts, that's pretty good, but we did die. Anyways, we'll leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a fun little episode. Yeah, see you guys in the next one.